Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now you can see, or you will be able to see, there has been some slight changes and in the sense that the hillside has been painted, well, green. <laughs> um, I would have painted it brown but um, I haven't got a lot of that left. <laughs> so I thought I'd paint it green which is probably the next best option and um, you know we can adapt it and change it if as when things occur all right so what am i going to do today well my aim is to try and get that covered um, to some degree um, bearing in mind that down here there's going to be this is going to be covered with um, a vaccine i've ordered some more of this down here and the reason for that is because i think it's for continuity sake really Right, just thought I'd let you know where we are right now. So I've gone ahead and done all of the foliage down that side. Still need to obviously do the lift out bridge. The foliage on this section is only the fixed bit and the back scene's obviously been removed. So I'll just bring you along. Um, this here is the um, yellow foliage that from woodland scenics this stuff and again it's it's a little bit like the um the uh i'm not sure quite what you call it sort of stuff and you tease it out and um then place it over the top of things and it actually starts to look as if it's like clumps of flowers and things like that i found some trees when i took all this section out from over here that was covered in trees and I've, there was another section over the back covered in trees so i've still got a, a number of trees i can put in different places so it's a case of just drilling a hole and then place it in with some glue on the end so i will get that done and also that that bit at the end there and we'll just take it one step at a time and see how much i get done for this right the um the scenery on the layout is drying and it's going to take a little while, even in the heat. Um, so I thought I'd move on to the back scenes. Now, what I've done, um, I can't put any more on this part here, scenery wise, because there is an actual back scene coming, a paper back scene, which will be more of a photographic style. Um, so I can't do any more of that the scenery until I get that on there and then I can cover up the edge the bottom edge of the back scene with the new scenery um, whereas on the other side that side that's going to be painted so I've sealed it with some varnish and I'm going to rub that down with a little bit of um, wet and dry paper just to make sure the smooth the surface is nice and smooth but the other part of it this here this one um, leads into that um, at that end just there so these two edges there and there, forgive my hand, they meet. So what I'm going to do, if you notice, we've got this awkward um, gap just there and there is a split there. And not only that, the back, this back scene here is in a terrible state. If you look at it, it's covered in marks and it really does look a complete sight. So I'm going to paint it now. But before I can do that, I've decided to cover it so I've got some card here and I'm going to cover over it like that now you might say to me John why don't you cover it right down to the bottom down to down to this point but um, the scenery will easily cover it and to be honest I can't see the point in wasting two pieces of card when I can cut one piece into three um, and then the scenery will just be built up over the top so I'm going to glue that on with a glue stick 
um, just a standard like a Pritt stick type of thing. And then um, I'll paint it and I'll show you me painting part of it. I'm not going to you're not going to sit and watch the whole process. It could take an hour or more. So um, you can see a few minutes of it. All right. So I'll get that glued on and then we'll start thinking about the paint inside of it. I'll speak in a minute. Right, so I'm, I'm really not going to spend very long on this because I've showed this twice already um, so I really don't want to go over this all over again uh, but I'm basically just going to wipe down the top or the, another top coat of white uh, now I'm using emulsion because that's all that's I just want to use it up really and then I'll switch to proper artist paints as and when Okay, the, um, the painting of the sky is all done now. Um, I did um, put it upon the, on the layout and looked at it and I thought, I don't like it. So I've changed it slightly and I'll show you what I've done a bit later on. It's not dramatically changed, it's just the odd little bit here and there just to make it a little bit more um, realistic, I suppose. Although, I, you know. Anyway, the other side, um, if you remember going this what I've just painted is on the new mills side so the other side of that board is the bit where I've just been doing all the scenics and because I've got the back scene the printed back scene running around the left hand side I thought I actually think I need to create another photographic back scene so it matches now I have gone for something slightly different and that's this one which is an industrial scene which I think will match up quite nicely with the carriage shed and then they can you can look back and see that actually it's quite an industrial zone really and then it after the carriage shed it goes off into the distance into the countryside now this is quite a small one as you can see it's only just on just over just under a meter and a half and it's not as tall as the back scenes I've got so I will have to do a little bit of packing up as such but this is the furthest point in the scenery because this is the structure in the corner so what i've done is i've put a piece of a4 paper on the top lined it up with the top edge there and with a pencil just drawn around that edge and created that template which i'll then use to make the first part of this back scene right so i'll get it out and then we'll cut that bit off now believe it or not they're only this big 
I mean, that's they're tiny, um, but it should be all right for what I want. So looking at the picture, that's the middle one. And that's the one on the right. So that's the one on the left. So that's the one I'm going to have to cut the uh, shape out of. Right, there it is. Um, you can see I've put a bit on the right and obviously this bit on the, no, sorry, the bit on the left and the bit on the right. I do my, my left and right. Um, it looks terrible at the moment. I can I can honestly say that. Um, it just needs the scenery and then everything will be fine. I'm sure about that. Um, still thinking about that chimney just there. Um, I mean, this piece is going right up in the corner. I mean, I might even put a tree over it. And, you know, we'll just see. Um, it does look a bit odd sticking up out of the ground like that, doesn't it? But anyway, we'll take it one step at a time. I'll get the rest of the board um, with the back scene on it. And then I'll start scenicking these bits up and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, speak in a minute. All right, welcome back. I thought I'd show you a shot of this train running through platforms 13 and 14. Don't show it very often. I've seen, you've seen it throughout the video, but there you go. Platforms 13 and 14 do work. And they are now coming out over the double slip, or that 68 is anyway, and no problems at all. As the GWR HST replacing cross country services, as we said before. Anyway, what have we done this week then? Just to round up, all the scenery has now gone in down here. And I've done the bit in the corner. I wouldn't say it's completely finished, but let's say 90% there. And if you haven't noticed, the back scene's gone in. Now, I was a little bit disappointed to see that all of the... Um, uh, buildings had gone down below but to be honest with you if you look carefully you can see is hills and uh, in the background so I'm treating that this those power stations and other factories whatever they are are in a valley and this is the hill that goes up towards it so yes okay it does perhaps look a little bit odd but do I care not really I'll sap a few trees over that as well when I've got some more made. Okay, now going on to the inside. As you can see, I've got that section done there. Still got to do that bit. But to put in the tracks as well now, going up to, out of New Mills. Still got to do that bit clearly and tidy up the tunnels. But we're definitely getting there now. So... Just bring you back. You can have a look at the, the two trains running there. In fact, I'll speed that HST up there so you can see it charging through Piccadilly. That's quite good. I'll take the iPad across. Here we go. Now the 68, it is sound, but uh, a few weeks ago I ended up having to reset the iPad and although I thought I'd saved a file of the Z21 there are certain locomotives and certain parts of the layout that didn't get um, automatically updated so I'm having to do them again I the 68 was one of them because that was one of the more recent additions and also these these points here are not on the system at the moment so they need to be programmed in before I can use it so I can't have a train going back from, from New Mills, going back to Piccadilly at the moment. Not on Platform 1. Anyway, that, that 150 is stuck there until these points are shifted because I can't get over to the other line. If that makes sense. I can't shift these points without it shorting out. So once I've got it reprogrammed, then everything will be fine. One last shot of the trains charging through Piccadilly then. And I'll give you one last blast of the horn. Yeah, I can't do the 68s unfortunately. I've just got the sound working. And the, uh, the engine at that moment. All right. 
anyway, the top video will be the last one in the Piccadilly series, which was building the structures all down here and all down here. And the second video will be number four in the new mill series. Okay, take care everybody. See you soon. Bye for now.